So this is a problem related to the DC shunt generator and the question given is for to solve for finding the voltage generator in the armature or the EG voltage. So based on whatever is given it can be said that uh, the generator is a 200 kilowatt generator and it is rated for 220 volt voltage and the armature resistance is close to or uh, the power output which is rated is of 200 kilowatt which is a rated and this is the power output when the generator is operating at the full load current and the voltage rated for the armature is close to 220 volt which is a rated voltage and the resistance of the armature is and the resistance of the field winding since this is a shunt winding shunt wound generator there would be a field which is what is connected to the armature and this field is having close of resistance and the voltage which is rated is close to 220 so the operation of this generator is happening at a rated load which is the IF which is the IL load current which it is drawing is a rated load and now the task is to find the EG or the voltage generated in the armature so based on the information given it's possible to draw the circuit diagram so this is a DC shunt motor so there will be the resistance of the armature and it's possible to show the armature of the generator producing a EG voltage and in parallel there will be what is the field winding so you'll have to to draw the field winding in parallel and there will be the supply voltage or the rated voltage which will be supplied which is VRATED or V terminal whichever you can call and this is the RA voltage and this is the RF field or this is RA resistance which is equal to 0 0.08 and this is equal to 60 ohm now the load current is the IL current and the field current will be the IF current and the current flowing through the series branch will be the higher armature current so now the equation for the EG is equal to can be given from this if you are applying the KVL to this starting from here to here so what is a EG is equal to V which is the terminal voltage plus or the rated voltage plus IA into RA now the question is to find IA here so that you can calculate the EG which is given to find out in the question so based on that the simple step is to find the load voltage which is a load current which is the IL which will be given by the rated power or 200 into 10 raised to 3 divided by the voltage which is 220 so and this is in amperes so 200 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 220 is equal to the load current which is equal to 909.09 .09. Amperes. So this is what is my load current and based on the load current load current is possible to find the and the next is finding the IF. So my IF is equal to 220 divided by 60 
which comes close to 3.66 amperes and my IA is equal to IF plus IL if you will apply KCL at this node so that is equal to 909.09 plus 3.66 amperes which is equal to 912.75 amperes so now the next task is to find eg from this equation which is equal to 220 plus 909.09 into the resistance of the armature which is 0 0.08 or 912 into 12.75 into 0 0.08 0 0.08 which is equal to 220 plus 73.02 so this comes up to equal to 293.020 volts so this is what is my voltage which is generated in the armature so in this question there was no brush voltage drop so if suppose a brush voltage drop which is close to 12 2 volts is 2 volts is given which is equal to eb which is a brush voltage drop if it was given in the question then it will have to be added here as eb and that would have to be used so uh, this is what you are applying the kvl to this circuit and the kcl got you the ia so this was a simple question and this question was formulated by me so again I have cross checked for the correctness of the answer so again it's possible that there could be so depending on this most of the questions would be the same and kind but if it is for the shunt generator and the unknowns could be different like it could be to find the field resistance or resistance or the the field current or the armature current etc based on what is my rated suppose if if the generator is operating at late rated load and if it is made to operate at half of the full load then my load current will be divided by two in that case you will have to divide the load current divided by 2 and then you will have to make the full calculation to find that so it is possible that based on the different parameters uh, there might be slight change but most of the questions will be depending on this circuit if you will remember and the parameters related to this